Hi, this is Larry. I would like to talk a bit about with you today is how to submit assignments using Google Docs. This is primarily for my classes at MATC, um, and it's pretty easy. What you're going to need to have open in your browser is going to be your Blackboard, the Blackboard Classroom, and you're also going to have to open up your uh, file within Google Drive. And I'll step you through this process. Basically, in the classroom, you'll see on the left again, there is the uh, icons on the left or the uh, to click on. You click on the one that says Assignments. And here it says there is an assignment that is due. Uh, when you prepare for the assignment, of course, you click on this. But as it says on the bottom here, click the title at the top to submit your link. So when you want to submit, when you're all done with your Google Doc and you're ready to submit the assignment after following the instructions, you basically come in and click on this link where the title. See it right here, the title? That's what you're going to click on. So click on Assignment 1 in this case. And it shows you it's more assignment information. You can get the instructions if you want to. It shows you the due date is and points possible up front. Um, and you can add comments and write submission. You can text and everything else. But basically, you can put in here, which all you need to do is submit the link to your document. That's all you're going to need to do. So you don't need to do anything more than put in uh, the link to your document. So you go down here where it says comments and highlight that. And then you're going to go into your document. So what I'm going to do is go back to my document. You see up on the top here, there's a tab because I have my document open already in Google Drive. Now I'm in my Google Drive document. And what I want to do now is to go and I want to get the link for this document. The link is here where it says share. And then what you can see is you can share it with the instructor, but you, even though the instructor is shared with them, you need to provide the link so the instructor can actually see the document. What the sharing does is allow the instructor to be able to go in and comment and view the document. So we're going to hit get shareable link. And it says automatically link is copied to clipboard. Otherwise, you can right click on this. And it says only people in Milwaukee can leave you the link, but basically it's only shareable with me, right? That's because I have to have the copy of the link. So I'm going to take that copy. And then you go into the assignment folder. Uh, up here it says upload assignments back over to Blackboard. You go into the comment section. You hit and you paste it. You paste it in there. And that's all you would need to submit. Now, if you want to add some more other comments before then or after it, you can say also is that Larry, uh, uh, here, here's my here. Uh, this assignment was fun. I'm sure you all want to write that. And there's the link. And that's what you basically need to do. Now, you can make this a link itself, an active link, uh, for those of you who know how to do it. But basically, what I need is the link to that document. And then what you do then is hit submit. You can see over here on the right. Bottom right, hit submit. And wait a second here, it's uploading to Blackboard. And you're going to get a review submission history assignment one. It's going to show, of course, the temp is late on this case because this was an old assignment from a previous course. And actually, you can see what you submitted. And if you need to, you can highlight this and open up the document to make sure it works. When you're all done, it says up here that you've gotten already. Assignment is complete. Review the submission history. Boom. You hit OK, and you're back to there. And that's it. That's how easy it is to submit assignments or submit Google Docs for assignments in my classes.